Hello guys, uh, create tutorials here, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you uh, like how you can make any any 2D object into 3D um, with help with uh, Photoshop to make the 2D stuff and uh, Cinema 4D to do the 3D stuff basically. So it's easy, um, and I'm gonna show you. What you can really do, um, yeah. So uh, let's start and do this. Uh, so this is kind of like my 3D logo, a clan logo tutorial, but not not the same, but kinda. Uh, it's on the same way, but yeah, whatever. So file new and uh, put your width and height to. 1280 by 720 and your resolution to whatever you want okay so and now you can just do whatever you want like uh, like an example um, if you're going to do a motion track do something that's uh, be creative and think of something you can have in your motion track like in your episode like something cool I don't know really uh, okay, I'm just gonna create something now. I I don't know really what I'm doing. That's the funny part about this. Uh, let's see here. How am I going to do that? Okay. Bam. 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 And bam. Okay, and then you can just hold control to fix the the things later. But yeah, that's the a cool thing. Okay, it looks like shit, but whatever. It's just a tutorial. So now, when you're done, when you create your little two uh, D object, uh, you wanna click File, Export, and Path to Illustrator, and you wanna go to Path and Make sure it's on work path. So now you wanna save it in a desktop or whatever you want. I'm just gonna uh, ugly thing and save. And just go out there and go into Cinema 4D. So now you're wondering, oh, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> uh, so all, all I've done here is just go to my render settings and change the output to 720 and 1280 by 720 and I just um, added some ambient occlusion and global illumination. Like, you just go to your effect menu and just click that in. That's all I've done. Um, and yeah, on here, all I've done really is just I just create uh, two planes. So it's like a um, like a room. So I just done like this uh, just just a floor as a floor I mean and this as a wall as you see how you do that is just rotate uh, the other plane it's very easy and then I just put a light right there nothing hard really um, and I just added a ring light and a softbox and to get that, you just want to go to the description and follow the instructor intru instructions there. Sorry. Uh, so that's all I've done. Uh, basically, just add added all the things here. So okay. So let's start. So you want to go to file merge, and if this is in your um, 3D motion track, you just want to do the same thing. But I'm not doing any 3D motion track, so. Okay, I'm just gonna search ugly thing that AI open it and go to scale and put the one as it say and there's your beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, it looks like shit. Now to make it 3D you wanna click and hold this uh for like yeah I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, so you wanna click on exturb nerves and uh, you wanna drag your ugly thing or your your 2D object to your exturb nerves. So now as you see it's 
3D. Now to change the thickness, you want to go to Object on the External Nerves, and you just want to drag drag it up. So I want it like 60. Looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a material. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make it material, just an easy one. And you wanna go to color and maybe set it to a nice green. Is always cool, like a nice green. And go to reflection and put it to maybe I don't know, really 50, 55, and put on a little bit bump. And here you wanna go to load image and if you don't have any image or w whatever whatever I'm just gonna make us and uh, don't worry about the bump I just forget that okay when you're done just click close and just add it on your object and uh, if we want to render this now it looks a little bit like this and I think this is going to take a while so I'll just be back when this is done yeah Okay, it's finally done, and as you see, it doesn't look that nice. But if you get some nice materials that you di didn't do in a fucking minute, uh, then it will look so much better. Um, yeah, but you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, you can go to caps and add caps, and uh, yeah, do whatever you want. Just play around with this. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, I'm just gonna show you that you can do this with uh, uh, with a picture too. So I'm just gonna put a fast um, picture. So I'll just search uh, uh, fish. Fish. <laughs> that was the best I could come up with. And you you don't want to have any colors in it. I I'm not. Uh, figure out how you can do all the colors and stuff so I'm just gonna go animate add animated and I'll just take this shitty thingy and you save it to my desktop and uh, come on and I'm just gonna delete that go to it and go to the Photoshop and just add it there and there you go there's my fish um, and you same thing you wanna um, click on the mask thingy and uh, just mask this over and I'm just gonna make this really really quick now because it's pretty long tutorial this okay this is going to look like shit I'm sorry about that but I don't have any time. Okay, so that looks like shit. Uh, I'll just do the same thing. Export path, uh, blah blah blah. Save it, and then uh, go and click on uh, Cinema 40 and merge it in. And uh, DD. And there you got your fish. And you just do the same thing. Uh, add this on uh, like that yeah so basically that's that's all then you just add your materials or whatever you want so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial um, please leave a like and a comment if you enjoy this um, yeah, that's all I have to say for this tutorial. All the links to the lights and uh, yeah, to the <laughs> to the lights, uh, softbox and stuff is in the description. And uh, yeah, the yeah. By the way, the editing contest results uh, is going to be uh, the 13th of October instead because. Uh, some people wanted me to extend the deadline, so I did it. So, so the editing contest ends, uh, yeah, in like eleven days. No, like seven days. I I don't know. I'm tired. 
again. So this is, uh, yeah, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, yeah, bye.